見到佢個合體 transformer 嗰個標誌，啊安柏文嗰度咧，咁咧就又都俾佢吸引住啦，係咪？咁咧就我哋來年咧將會有一個誒一個 stand 嘅 project 嚇，咁咧就係關於環保啊、環誒太戰啊等等嘅嘢，咁咧就誒亦都同呢個安手機咧好有關係嘅 ，OK。咁今日咧，我哋請到，哇！今日我哋請到好多嘉賓嚟嚟講呢個 Opal。咁咧就誒嗱，我哋有我哋誒、呃、我哋嘅 partner 阿 Jo 啊，阿阿陳生啦 ，Josephine 啦，有時咧，我又請到啊誒戴成嘅羅生啦，嚇，咁啊，羅生佢介紹嗰個嗰嚿發光啊，咁咁咧就我哋有誒張姑嘅同事啦，阿苗小姐啦，同埋團隊啊，阿黃小姐啦，阿徐小姐啦，嚇。咁咧就誒、呃，希望嚟緊呢四十五分至一個鐘頭咧，同學咧可以對呢啲儀器咧誒可以多啲認識。啊，呢件儀器咧亦都將會喺我哋學校出現噶。OK， 咁啊，遲啲同學咧就學仔就有機會咧去試下，啊，亦都可以參加我哋嚟緊嗰個 STEM 嗰個 project。OK 啦，咁咧就誒、呃，我將時間交俾阿鐘，阿鐘會講講關於呢個 project 先嘅嘛。阿鐘得。誒各位同學，你哋好，係我係鐘昌。咁阿阿黃哥啊，我覺得柯柏文應該係鐘啊嘛，鐘嗰邊啊 ，OK。咁啊，好，今日我哋到底係誒一個咩題目咧？咁其實咧喺誒上個月咧，我哋發覺喺報紙度咧，連續有兩日嘅報道咧，都係講緊咧，誒有啲報道就話用環誒用紙巾幫手咧，其實好唔環保，好浪費嘅喎咁樣。咁跟住喺第二日嘅另外一份報紙咧，就即刻有一啲。另外一個報道咧就話唔係，係用乾手指先至先至慳錢環保，用乾手機咧就流曬嘅咁樣。咁啊，連續兩日啲報紙咧就喺度咁啊爭相報道，去到第三日咧，咁啊我哋都訪問咗戴森，喂，咁其實邊個家啊？個戴森係有另外一種説法。咁你發覺誒，原來乾手乾手機啊，同埋紙巾啊嘅嘅採用咧，原來其實都係一個誒誒通識嘅學習嚟嘅喎。咁所以咧，我哋就誒後來就同誒戴森佢哋研究啦，同阿校長啊佢哋。又喂，我哋會唔會嘗試下睇誒個幹手上面同環保啊，同埋一個學,學校嘅運作上面有一啲咩嘅誒誒結果，我哋可以研究出嚟咧？咁誒，戴森咧係一個啊喺誒英國嘅公司咧，咁佢係好出名喺誒科技上面咧誒，尤其是家居嘅啲清潔嘅產品，同埋係外觀嘅設計。我哋如果去誒歐洲咧，其實而家去到歐洲大部分嘅公共場所啊、機場咧，我哋去發覺佢個洗手間咧係冇紙巾、抹手嘅，全部都係用曬乾手機。咁佢哋誒誒歐洲喺環保上面嘅要求亦都行得比較早啦。咁但係我哋喺香港，我哋發覺咧呢、這個嘅係喺香港學校好經典嘅一個情況，就係、是、有個乾手機，但係咧就有啲紙巾。咁啊，有時仲要係兩卷添。咁我相信，我估計在座大部分同學嘅習慣洗完手係用。乾手機多定紙巾多啲嘅？用乾手機嘅有幾多個？明？乾手機 ，OK。誒、呃、紙巾咧，全部都唔洗手唔抹手嘅<笑> ，OK。咁呢位同學你用你用乾手機嚟講啦，你覺得點解你唔用紙巾用乾手機？冇紙巾。OK。如果有紙巾嘅話，你用紙巾定乾手機？ good OK， 咁但係咧，我哋發覺誒香港大部分學校嘅情況有啲唔同喎。我哋發覺大部分學校咧，我哋都訪問咗唔少嘅老師學生咧，就係佢哋通常都會用紙巾。咁誒有幾個原因啦，最首要原因就話誒誒學校放小息啦，落堂啦，幾百個學生一齊放小息去洗手間，咁而乾手機咧，乾手嘅時間可能都會幾長，半分鐘，咁變咗大家排隊要排好耐先幫到手，咁所以掹張紙巾嚟排咯。咁呢個係我哋見到其中一個原因。咁第二咧，就我哋都見到好多學校啲乾手機其實壞咗，佢唔丟得好。咁啊壞咗之後，嗰個保養咧都好多問題。咁第三咧，係啊，而家大部分乾手機咧都係用熱泵，熱泵本身咧係嘥電同埋唔環保。咁所以我哋亦都冇一個好大嘅動機就可以用用乾手機係慳過用紙巾喎。喺而家我哋過往嗰啲咁乾手機上，咁啊第最後一樣嘢就係話大家可能都唔醒覺得原來用紙巾去抹手。或者用乾手機去抹手，嗰度全個細菌到底有啲咩分別咧？對你自己嘅健康，尤其是而家成日有手足口病啊，誒有一個同學感染咗之後，有好多同學都容易感染過以前嘅。咁到底同喺個洗手間裏面幫手啊？呢啲咁嘅細菌感染有幾大嘅關係咧？咁樣。咁所以咧，我哋就誒有個 Dyson。咁 Dyson 原來喺英國咧做咗好多研究，唔單止英國啊，好多地方做咗好多研究
。咁佢一個比較詳細啲嘅研究咧，一陣啊阿 Kevin 佢同我哋介紹啦。就係、是、我哋就攞咗個例子，就係、是、喺英國嘅某一啲場所咧，佢做誒一佢做幫手機同埋紙巾使用嘅比較咧，佢發覺喺個碳足印上面咧係節省咗三點三點八倍。咁而喺嗰、那個喺個 running cost， 咁到底咩係 running cost 咧？就係 Kevin 去解釋啦。喺嗰、那個喺個運作成本上邊咧，係爭咗三十一點五倍。咁同時喺個誒細菌嘅誒傳播上邊咧，誒、呃、誒幫手機又好似係會低啲喎咁樣。咁而最重要，我哋點解會越誒誒揾一啲學校去嘗試呢個比較咧？就係、是、我哋發覺誒、呃，因為基於新嘅科技咧，誒、呃、譬如呢呢類咁嘅用 digital culture 數碼。誒馬達嘅呢啲咁嘅幹手機咧，佢可以令你幹手嘅時間由平均四十三秒減到十秒鐘，幹完一對手。個意思即係話，佢要幹得夠快，你先會用㗎；要果幹得唔夠快，少識排長隊，係你想用都用唔到。咁所以呢個就係成個問題嘅症結所在。好，頭先阿阿黃博士講過就話，我哋會有一個 STEM 嘅 program 咧，我哋會推出啦。咁我哋嘅大前提咩咧？就係、是、話，首先我哋要有一啲。新科技令到幫手嘅時間縮得好短嘅。咁第二樣嘢咧，呢呢種咁嘅科技能夠幫到我哋，除咗幫得好快、幫到手之外，佢亦都係幫到手環保嘅，減低碳足印。咁碳足印就係乜嘢咧？一陣阿 Kevin 都會同我哋講解下嘅，唔該你。阿 Kevin 係 Dyson 方面嘅專家。咁就另外就係、是、如果呢部機五年都唔壞，頭先我講過誒，好多學校啲幫手機擺喺度嘅壞咗，好難整啊。咁如果放得住喺度五年。保育唔壞嘅，咁就會唔會喺個成本啊運作上面能夠幫得到手咧？咁最後就係話，我哋都希望通過呢個活動去提醒大家，無論幹手紙好啲定幹手機好啲，大家都會注意多啲喺個環保上面嘅保護啦。咁誒，咁、嗯、我哋一共會有咗三間學校一齊，咁啊誒誒，長天係我哋誒首要第一間咁嘅幫手嘅學校去做呢個實驗啦。咁誒，點解我哋第一個會考慮長天？因為長天係全香港。誒、呃、八間係由政府選擇出嚟，係誒喺個誒資訊科技教育上面特別突出嘅學校，向長天係其中一間。咁誒喺各方面科學上面咧都係比較突出，咁所以我哋就誒首先揾咗長天啊黃副校潘校長認同咗呢個 program。咁另外咧仲好仲會有另外兩間學校一齊啦。咁誒、呃、今日就講解啦。咁之後咧，我哋誒希望老師咧就會誒一啲同學就會組成咗啲 stand 嘅 team。OK， 一一隊一一個一個 group 就係做一個 stand， 佢哋就去研究下點樣去比較翻誒、呃，我哋我哋好快就會裝咗兩部呢啲機咧，就喺地下個廁所度，點解地下地下個廁所度裝咗兩部呢啲咁機，咁就冇紙巾㗎啦。咁我哋就想試想比對下就係話，裝咗呢兩部機之後，學生去用乾濕機，比起過去一年用紙巾喺個成本上面嘅分別。喺個誒碳足印上面嘅分別，同埋喺個誒使用者嘅感受上面，到底有啲咩分別？咁你哋可能問啦，咁碳足印我點知啊？或者用咗幾多電，用咗幾多紙，我點知啊？咁所以我哋就，所以我哋就通過呢個你咁多唔知嘅地方，由老師帶住大家一樣一樣好，將佢解開出嚟，將佢問出嚟。咁同埋一啲比較專業啲嘅誒科技啊，或者知識上面嘅嘅資料咧，我哋嘅 partner 啊。誒或者老師啊，都可以一齊去同大家一齊去學習，咁所以從而你就會知道我乜嘢叫碳足印，你點樣計碳足印？原來阿依依上嚟清垃圾，跟住攞去垃圾站，跟住再車去誒堆填區，咁嗰度計緊幾多電油、幾多廢氣嗰啲，就係碳足印嘅其中一種一個部分。咁、这、呢個大家我哋都覺得係一個幾有趣嘅學習。咁到最後喺呢、这個誒誒實驗做完之後咧，咁誒大家同學咧係由同學自己去負責分享下你哋嘅成果。咁我呢度補充一班無論大神中唔中意聽都好，個結果即使係認為喂唔係喎，原來呢啲幹手機咧係幫唔到手喎，唔重要嗱，大家同學並唔係去幫大神證明呢樣嘢啱，我哋只係想通過大神嘅經驗，將佢放咗喺香港喺學校嗰個環境度，到底呢樣嘢成唔成立？咁啊，到時誒我哋會舉辦啲活動，大家分享下。好，咁咁講到呢度為止，咁我最後一樣嘢想講一講就點解？點解幹手會係 STEM 嚟嘅咧 ？STEM 就係 S T E M Science、Technology、Engineering 同埋 Mathematics 四個領域，將佢混埋一齊，同一啲生活相關嘅項目，我哋去做一啲咁嘅學習。好啦，第一樣嘢我哋要知道，喂，呢部機佢本身係通過一種新嘅科技
有個 digital motor 數碼嘅馬達，同埋一啲 air flow 嘅 technology， 一啲通覺式嘅風口。咁呢啲係一啲關於 technologies 嘅學習。咁我哋我哋已經涉獵到 technologies 啦。咁第二樣嘢，我哋會研究翻誒關於健康啊、誒環保上面嘅一啲誒，我哋認為一啲 science 嘅一一啲知識嘅學習啦。咁誒、呃，另外就係話，我哋有曬呢啲數據之後咧，我哋就要計好多數啦，好多 mathematics 啊，甚至係可能佢咁，我我我點樣去誒教務處去採訪翻會計，到底我哋一過去一年用咗幾多紙巾，用咗幾多錢，幾多錢一張？咁呢啲其實係一大堆嘅計算，咁跟住仲有一啲誒用電嘅問題，咁大家就會有好多誒數學上面嘅學習啦。咁另外一樣嘢就係話，當大家誒、呃、去誒、呃、了解咗呢樣嘢之後。點樣我哋去去去運用呢樣嘢，或者去發揮佢應該有嘅功用嘅設計咧？其實一定程度都係啲 engineer， 甚至喂我哋會唔會係喺呢度部機裏面設一張貼紙，提提醒大家你點樣做會幫到個地球啲乜嘢？呢啲咁嘅設計點樣去黐黐上去？其中都係其實都算係一種 engineer engineer 嚟教嘅。所以加埋一陣之後咧，裏面就有一大堆誒、呃、解難嘅問題，需要大家同學去誒、呃、或者一個 stand 呢個 group 嘅同學。咁所以咧，呢個係一個非常之誒生動有趣嘅一個叫做誒 STEM 嘅學習。咁啊，至於更詳細嘅嘅細節咧，我哋請誒 Dyson 啊，各位同學早晨。咁誒頭先都介紹過啦，我係 Kevin， 嚟自 Dyson 嘅。咁啊，簡單問一問大家對 Dyson 呢個品牌啦嚇，有冇見過 Dyson 嘅產品先？有見過嘅請舉舉手。O、okay, K， 都唔少。誒、呃，未認識嘅唔緊要，不過今日咧都唔係主要介紹產品，因為今日主要同阿 Jo Jo 一齊咧就講 STEM 呢個 program。O K， 咁啊，頭先講咗啦，喺 engineering 啊、technology 啊、science 啊各方面咧 ，Dyson 嘅科技咧都係好新穎得好前嘅。咁關於呢個 STEM program 咧，我覺得有幾方面。學生大家同學可以諗一諗，有啲乜嘢個題目可以再深入去睇一睇。咁第一個我揀選嘅可能嘅題目咧，就係 carbon trust 碳足跡呢個題目。咁啊，最緊要嘅係碳足跡，關於嘅就係環保啦。咁講環保之前，我想講少少關於 Dyson 嘅技術先。咁啊，乾手機，咁 Dyson 乾手機，咁呢個係其中一部啦。咁見到仲有幾款嘅，不過呢個都唔係重點嚇。我講下 Dyson 嘅技術。咁啊，上面企住好型插住袋嗰個咧就唔係我嚟嘅。咁啊 ，Dyson 嘅老闆，咁啊英國人叫 James Dyson， 咁就發明咗幾樣產品。咁一個產品就係吸塵機，咁又有風扇、無線點嘅風扇，同埋乾手機。咁啊，喺 Dyson 每一個品牌都有自己品牌嘅理念嘅。咁 Dyson 一個 engineering 嘅公司咧，佢嘅理念咧就係揾一揾科技去做一啲好嘅產品。咩叫科技做啲好嘅產品咧？大家咧可以睇一睇個短片。咁呢個短片咧，我就特登刪減咗中文嘅字幕嘅，因為大家都係英文中學嘅中學生，重點我而家會再講。咁啊開始咯，咁啊大家留意點點有有啲問題咧，一間我會喺個點點度抽出嚟問。Sustainable engineering is something that every young engineer aspires to, and it means using every watt of electricity, every gram of material, to make the lightest and least hungry machine that you possibly can. So when I created my first site plan, I think of course I was trying to get rid of the bags because you know I was sick of buying them and they're a waste of money. And they create landfill. But more than anything else, I was trying to make a more efficient vacuum cleaner, which didn't have the loss of suction and therefore the waste of power, the waste of electricity in bad vacuum cleaners. The biggest environmental impact of Dyson machines is the amount of electricity they draw from the plug, they draw from the socket. We've developed, and we're the first to develop digital high speed motors. This is an example of it, which is embedded inside this machine here. And the advantage of Digital high-speed motors is that they're much more efficient than brushed conventional motors, and of course they're much lighter and smaller, which means that we can make a smaller vacuum cleaner which uses less material and is lighter to use. One of the interesting things about making products is that the less plastic you use, the lighter the product will be. 
but also the less plastic you use, the less energy you're using in its construction. So if you're injecting a molding plastic, if you can make a really thin molding, you're going to use less plastic and far less energy and heat to convert that plastic into a product. That's all very well, but the product might be flimsy because it's made of thin plastic. So to overcome that, we introduced a massive destruction testing regime. So not only do we have people trying to break our products all day long, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but we also have automatic machines or robotic machines testing our products to destruction. And through that process of trying to break our products and testing the limits of the materials, we're able to produce lean products that use the minimum amount of plastic and therefore the minimum amount of energy to convert that plastic into a product. The result of all our testing is that we don't plan for obsolescence. We plan for a very long life. To achieve that, we use very expensive and sophisticated materials like polycarbonates typically used for unbreakable shop windows and crash helmets. Sustainable engineering doesn't stop at the drawing board. Everybody has a responsibility to do what they do efficiently. And that applies to everyone in the business, whether they're in the supply chain, manufacturing, or looking after our customers. Well, 都明白啊有冇同學可以簡單講一兩個點以上你嘅重點有冇佢走啊請講請講冇錯啊第一個重點就係用少啲膠非常之好非常之好喺有冇同學點樣用少啲膠但係都唔會咁大整壓佢都
每日嘅使用量係相當相當之大，差唔多每日係用五千五百萬張每日喎、啊。咁、啊、各位同學，你亦都可以用你哋嘅方法，用通識嗰個議題去睇下究竟香港用乾手指程度去到邊度。咁啊，講翻正題啦，碳足跡或者 carbon footprint 啦，咩係 carbon footprint 啦？咁一個量度碳排放嘅標準。咁由一個產品嘅原料開始，至到去運輸，至到去個產品用嘅電，直至到佢部機完啦、壞咗啦、用唔到啦，所有由生產至到結束都量度。所有工序中間出嚟嘅碳排放，咁啊，詳細大家可以喺網上面揾到好多好多關於碳足跡嘅資料。咁 Ison 嗰邊咧，我哋所有嘅乾手機都會攞到碳排放嘅認證。咁咩叫碳排放認證咧？即係話我哋嘅碳排放係非常非常之低。咁啊，有幾低一間咧就可以有個表俾大家睇睇。咁啊，當然咁。喺學習嗰個領域咧，就可以睇由每一個 single component 每一個元件開始，我哋就要度嗰個碳排放。跟住咧，做好咗生產之後咧，運輸由工廠去到用者或或者使用嘅地方，中間個 transportation 個交通運輸亦都要量度個碳排放。第三啦，當部機 operate 嘅時候，使用嘅時候，用幾多電？亦都係一個碳排放嘅標準。到最後啦，究竟呢部機啊係一年裏面就要報銷啊，定還可以用十年、二十年？咁呢個亦都係一個碳排放嘅準則嚟嘅。咁啊，呢個就係我哋大神自己量度嘅資料啦。咁啊，大家可以從唔同嘅角度喺通識嘅方面啦，唔同嘅角度去揾呢啲資料、啊、我哋度到我哋嘅乾手機。如果每一次使用唔同嘅型號啦，咁如果係呢一部機嘅話咧，個碳排放咧就係三點五五 gram 每一次使用。咁用乾手指嘅碳排放係幾多咧？如果係用乾手指嘅話咧，個碳排放咧係十三點九 gram。大家會唔覺得舒服？係，我用部咁大部機器，碳排放只不過係三點幾。但係用兩張乾手指咁薄嘅乾手指，個碳排放居然係十三點九 g r a 相差好大嚇。咁啊,啊，當然大家可以有冇兩張咁薄嘅紙，點解咁多嘅碳排放呢？大家要記住頭先我講，碳排放係由原料開始，至到去你用完嗰刻。咁啊，先睇睇紙究竟係點嚟先啊！包括啦，只要及好多好多嘅樹木啦，咁咧做燈嘅紙，咁要用上好多好多棵樹。喺做紙嘅過程，要用到好多嘅水，將啲木變成木漿。做一噸嘅紙要用到二百一十個浴缸嘅水，中間亦都經過好多化學嘅處理，同埋大部分嘅乾手指，好多香港或者好多成年人啦，都唔係學生啦，成年都唔會乾手指係可以 recycle， 但其實乾手指基本上係唔會 recycle。頭先都講啦，乾手指全屬要用，搭一般會用貨車，咁貨車嘅碳排放，以及你要抌呢啲乾手指嘅碳排放都相當高。好啦，簡單啲咧就用呢個圖表去解釋一下。咁紙張未做出嚟嘅時候咧，我哋需要斬樹木，斬樹木咧去提供紙入邊嘅纖維，嚇，咁咧。當做好曬纖維之後咧，跟住咧就轉成一塊一塊嘅我哋叫木漿。咁木漿之後咧就要打散啲木漿，啲嗰個造紙機，跟住又要整乾，又要整平，又要整又要壓到佢好細張好薄
。咁中間咧已經有好多好多嘅程序嘅。咁生產完之後咧，又用貨車將嗰啲乾手指一車車運去洗手間入面。你今次用完兩張。下一次啊，佢哋要再用曬啦，而家又要再換一次，咁運輸不斷不斷咁補充嗰個乾手指，咁所以個乾手指其實個碳排放咯，碳排放咧係非常非常之大。當然最後屘你用完啦，你用嗰張乾手指即係兩秒鐘慢慢兩手抌咗佢，但係會製造好多好多嘅廢物去到堆填區裏邊，咁所以點解簡單兩張乾手指，但係個碳排放係非常之大。好啦，講完環保，大家可以喺網上面去揾關於乾手指、乾手機或者其他乾手方法。咁我就做咗一個好簡單嘅例子。當然，其實就大家真係做功課嘅時候咧，大家去做研究嘅時候咧，就要俾我呢個曲就些少啦。先講講用乾手機啦，少少數學啦。大家知唔知道一導電係咩意思啊？一導電個單位係咩啊？ K W 仲爭少少 ，K W 住啱啱啊 ，Q walk per hour 咁啊，戴森嘅機咧，每部機咧運作嘅時候咧就一千六百瓦，咁一千六百瓦，咁乾手一次完成嘅時間就係十秒，嚇，咁咧就可以計到每一次乾手究竟要用到幾多度電？嗱，呢個數學嚟題目嚟㗎，所以咧我就用英文啦，因為由數學由英文，大家可能就好複雜。咁咧個標準咧就係用十秒鐘一千六百伏嘅電，咁用嘅度用幾多度電咧？就用咗零點零零四四度電，每一次幫手。咁啊，電費又點計咧？大家睇到啦，用港燈嘅電費標準嚟計咧。香港每一度電商業用嘅電費就係過三，一度電過三。咁你計到咧，每次乾手嘅費用咧，就係零點零零五七二啊。咁啊，咁細個數大家好難去理解啊嘛。咁我就睇啦，每日用五百次，三十日，咁咧就用咗八十五個八。呢、這個就係操作嘅成本，好簡單計啊。咁當然。我冇計咩咧？我冇計佢靜止嘅時候，靜止嘅時候部機都會有需要電嘅、啊。大家做 project 嘅時候，俾少啲大家。如果用呢個 approach 用呢個方法去諗嘅話咧，如果你計總成本嘅話咧，你要計埋 stand by 嘅時候，部機都用電嘅，究竟用咗幾多電？用咗幹手嘅時候，咁你扣翻 stand by 嘅時間嘅咯喎。好啦，另外啦，用幹手指又點計咧？同樣係比較每日用五百次，咁乾手指嘅費用係點啊？大概而家大家冇乜概念，我俾個概念大家，大家掹嗰啲平時掹嗰啲乾手指啊，每二百張大概係八蚊港幣，八蚊港幣。咁啊，即係話咩咧？好簡單，除數啫。咁每張八手指嘅費用咧，就大概係零點零四、零點零四四先啦。每日用五百次，每次用假設用兩張，左手一張，右手一張，抹手。咁消我所要用嘅成本咧就四十蚊。如果同樣啦，一日乾五百對手，三十日一個月，咁所需要嘅費用咧，運作成本啊，大家對乾五百隻手，就係八十五個八同埋一千二百蚊嘅比較。啊！呢、这個係好簡單、好簡單嘅計算。咁大家做 project 嘅時候咧，就可以再深入少少去睇下，因為我最有啲成本係未計嘅。例如一間公司或者一個商場，佢要請員工去買啲乾手指，啲乾手指唔會無端端送過嚟俾屋企，或者送去商商場入邊，一定要揾人去買嘅。咁嗰個人嘅成本啦，仲有咩啊？儲存嘅成本，你要揾個地方裝住啲乾手指，亦都係一個成本嚟嘅。每一個你用完乾手指抌咗垃圾箱之後，你要用膠袋去袋袋袋住佢，亦都要有清潔嘅同事去將啲膠袋清理。呢啲亦都係需要成本。啊，咁呢啲好多好多好多唔同嘅成本，我哋都未計算在內嘅
。咁大家做 project 嘅時候，可以諗得細心一啲，究竟點樣可以做一點所謂更加近乎現實係點去諗？好啦，咁啊，第三方面咧，大家可以諗一諗咧，就係喺呢個衞生嗰方面。頭先我講過啦，咁 Dyson 咧，嗰啲機入面咧，每一個機就個 HEPA filter， 咁大家可以上網睇下，炒一炒 HEPA 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 filter， 嗱，究竟係咩嘅東西啦？廣泛用喺醫療入邊，主要咧係隔住細菌同埋病毒，譬如你哋口罩用嘅學校用嘅，或者醫院用嘅口罩，都係 HEPA filter 嘅一種。咁先睇睇條片關於。乾手機衞生嘅 ，washing man can contain harmful viruses and bacteria. Some of it is from fecal matter. They can cause colds, flu, sickness, and diarrhea. Hand dryers work by using the air from the washer to dry your hands. Our engineers were curious about what happened to the dirty air. They decided to design a test. They installed a hand dryer on a dividing wall between two airtight boxes. They filled the box below with smoke to represent dirty washing air. This air was then drawn through the dryer and into the box above. Watch what happened. Hand dryers with basic filters sucking the dirty air and blowing back out directly onto your hands. So your hands might not be as clean as you think. The Dyson Airblade hand dryer works differently. It has a HEPA filter fitted as standard, meaning 99.9% of particles, the size of bacteria and viruses, are filtered out. So it dries your hands with cleaner air. Which would you choose?
，你將啲空氣加熱就俾一個適合嘅温度去生長。咁所以咧，如果嗰手機入面有發熱嘅元件咧，就唔衞生啦。第三，關手嘅時間要控制喺十五秒之內。咁咩意思呢？就係、是、做佢哋做個 research 做研究就話，大家用乾手機嘅時間最多可以維持到十五秒，一超過十五秒嘅話咧，大家就會離開噶啦，因為覺得乾唔到隻手咧，你就會離開部乾手機，濕住隻手離開個洗手間。咁如果十五秒之內乾唔到手咧，咁呢部機咧就唔合格，因為濕住嘅手離開，乾手機亦都唔衞生。咁啊，十五秒乾到隻手。十五秒裏面咧，亦都有個標準，咩叫做乾手？啊、你嘅手乾同我嘅手乾，大家感覺唔一樣。可能你覺你覺得唔滴水就係乾手，但我覺得咧，要隻手乾曬，先至要隻手叫乾。咁要攞呢個衞生認證咧，有一個好隔離呢邊啊，一個好嚴格嘅標準嘅，就話你洗手之前，我要將張紙巾清咗個沖涼先。跟住洗完手，滴地滴水，滴一陣間水，再用乾手機吹乾隻手，吹乾完之後，咁我再用紙巾索一索手上面嘅水，嗰張紙巾再放翻落去個網度清，清完之後，手上面嘅水，即係嗰張紙巾嘅重量，唔可以多過零點一 gram， 零點一 gram 啊！大家有冇印象？零點一 gram 有幾重咧？基本上你用個手指輕輕一點咧，都已經超過零點一 gram 噶啦。即係話咧，個乾手嘅標準係好嚴格嘅，十五秒乾手，十秒乾手之後咧，手上面嘅水唔可以多過零點一 gram。如果多過零點一 gram 咧，意思就攞唔到呢一個衞生認證啦。好啦，呢、這個就係實驗嚟喎，大家睇下有冇？啲 approach 大家嗰啲啊方向去諗一諗，從衞生嘅考慮點樣去完成你嘅 step program。好，最後尾啦，要攞到呢個衞生認證咧，就部機咧就唔可以掂嘅，因為洗手間入邊始終係佈滿住細菌。咁希望你呢個衞生認證咧就話你要洗完隻手乾淨離開洗手間。咁如果你掂到個要掂部機先至可以 operate 嘅，先可以操作嘅話咧，咁有機會喺接觸嘅時候。接驗到細菌，咁所以咧，佢個衞生標準就話你唔需要掂到部機，你都可以做到乾手嘅，做到乾手嘅程序。好啦，咁啊，頭先講咗三個方向啦，第一個環保 （carbon trust）， 第二個成本效益。啊，各位大家可以諗諗，有咩成本？就係、是、喺香港，如果咁大量使用乾手指嘅話，究竟大家嘅付出嘅成本有幾多咧？第三，衞生相對喺用紙巾或者用乾手機或者其他方法，例如用坐巾仔，究竟咩方法先係一個最好最衞生嘅嘅辦法咧？去乾手。咁最後啦，一個我相信係最複雜嘅嘅誒議題，咁大家都可以用呢個議題去完成。我我相信可以用呢個議題完成你嘅嘅嘅 step program 就係究竟。除咗大家而家見到嘅辦法之外，有冇其他除咗乾手機、乾手指、手巾仔以外嘅乾手方法咧？呢、这個係一個好好好難嘅嘅題目嚟嘅，即係呢個係咁樣發明喎、啊。有冇第四種？第四種又快速、又有效、又衞生、成本又低嘅方法咧？咁啊，朋友可以留先。